Um, so we're at the um, Soulfed Women and Non-Binary Organiser Training, um, and some of us are just going to have a quick chat about um, kind of how we heard about the training and how we found it so far. Um, so, yeah, I guess how did how did people hear about it? Um, I was recommended it by a friend who's in feminist fight back, um, and we've been kind of trying to organise at work and getting a bit stuck with a few issues. So, thought it was good to come along and kind of get some ideas off people. Cool. Do you feel like? Um, do you think you're going to leave feeling a bit more equipped to deal with the problems that you've had at work? I definitely feel kind of generally more confident about trying to, <clears throat> sorry, trying to organise. Um, and I think it's just quite nice, even though like the examples we've been using aren't obviously specific to my workplace, to like hear how passionate everyone else is and try and like feed off that and take that back with me when I go go back to work. Cool. Um, has anyone in here done any other like union organising training before? No. 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 Cool. Um, I I have, and I'm all, I've always been in the minority as a woman. Like, there's only ever been me, or like maybe me and one other person. So this has been like amazing. Um, if people people haven't, is that because they're not in unions, or because they've never been like offered training before, or? Like, is there something about the idea of organiser training which is somehow off-putting? I think as well, I, my workplace is quite difficult to think about organising in because it's so small and it's in the charity sector and I'm in Unite, but I can't see how Unite is relevant to me, especially when none of my workmates are in the same workplace. And I've never seen training that was just, you know, women bringing their different problems <coughs> together and talking about it and seeing what what ideas come out of it. Um, would you have felt like less interested if this had been a, a ge- like a general organizer training? Is it were you more interested in coming because of because it was women and non-binary people? That was yeah, that was a big bonus, and I guess um, yeah, through I guess I found out about it and accessed it through um, feminist organizing. Um, so possibly I wouldn't have heard of it if it was <laughs> if it was general organizer training. But yeah, I definitely feel more. Um, suppose, yeah, perhaps like it piqued my attention. Mm. Uh, um, like why? Why do you do you feel like you maybe understand why there are like not that many women kind of um, doing organizer trainings like turning up to mixed organizer trainings or like if you look at um mainstream trade unions like the vast majority of their like paid organizers are men like is there something is there something about union organizing or unions that you feel like puts women off i think it has to do with both the structure of the workplace um and the way that can be um gender specific (coughs) and um, the work-life balance needs, um, which often also have a gendered element. So, for example, uh, women are more likely to be caretakers for family members and might then have less time to attend a training um, and may also tend to work in workplaces where you don't directly work with other people in the same role. Mm. Um, for example, um, if you're a cleaner who um, is off cleaning somewhere, you won't necessarily interact regularly with other people um, who are in a similar role. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what um like what do you what have people found the most useful thing so far about say like obviously we've got the afternoon session which is um going to be about um like how to like win a campaign um but we've learned a lot this morning about um like identifying workplace issues things like that is there anything specific that people are like really keen to take back into their own workplaces or they think they'll kind of use maybe do differently at work I think for me, I haven't been on any training similar to this, and I'm quite new to the sort of organising at work things. Um, so it's been really helpful to just have an introduction to the sort of key steps mm. that you should take, and things that now seem very obvious, like identifying issues, looking for allies, things like that. I think, yeah, I would have found it hard to have sort of come to those realisations by myself. That's really useful. Yeah, 
I think some of the things are things that we do like naturally at work, aren't they? Like a lot of the things that came up, but it's interesting to think about how you can kind of use those things that we all do like naturally at work in a, in a way that will kind of um, help us like fight for better conditions and things. It's kind of just a bit of a change of mindset more than anything else, I think. Um, is there, I mean, are people union members? Yeah. And is there, I mean, I know this is like a particular like women only training, but um, is there, have you been offered like practical organising training by your union before? I'm not sure. I'm a member of Unite and to be honest, I haven't found them super helpful in the past and I possibly haven't looked at all of their emails in which they have <laughs> offered <laughs> Fair enough. Training. Um, so I don't want to say that they haven't. Um, yeah. I don't know if anyone else has found any of Yeah, I'm in the Musicians' Union and I don't think they've offered anything. Um, mm. I mean, I'm in Unison. I've been a shop steward for quite a long time and a health and safety rep. I mean, I have done sort of TUC, represent, how to represent people, representation, training, uh, training around specific areas, I don't know, like redundancy or restructure and stuff like that um, in terms of how to organise your workplace no uh, sort of women only stuff I've got to be give credit where it's due because Unison has so many women members it's mm. something like 1 million yeah. of the 1.4 million members are women Yeah, that there are you know there are sort of self organised group trainings events conferences so they are they are pretty good about about that but this sort of like basic well, it's not basic stuff but you know yeah mm. how to organize yeah um, it, it, that's not really ever been offered why do you think that's why do you why do you think that that's the case that they haven't that this isn't the kind of training that people are being offered i think that they see the trade union model is more about representation and yeah. using the law yeah. and dealing with problems mm. you know specific problems and supporting individual members in terms of collective stuff or how to build class confidence mm. or you know how to build a good workplace environment you know and um, that's not really the function well they don't see that as an important an important function yeah um and this this like how to organize not everybody wants to be a rep mm. or represent people do casework and stuff stuff like that this is more for everybody every and every worker approach right yeah um skills and yeah that, that anybody can use mm. without having to take on that yeah sort of advocacy yeah type role if you know what I mean yeah absolutely you don't have to like do a like be accredited and yeah, then and take sure. on this kind of yeah. yeah um what do people f like before this training what did people feel like were the biggest barriers to organizing I know that we've talked a lot about um a lot of people in the room and that because a lot of women like work in um in jobs where they're caring for people in some way so you know like nursing teaching like all all of these kinds of work and obviously that kind of creates that can create a bit of a, a barrier for people um like other than that kind of what are the what's put people off do it like feeling like they could do things at work when they've needed to like yeah that first point about being in unite but feeling quite alienated from the union i think if your workplace isn't already unionized by them it's hard to see a point of access mm. um, and I did actually call them once I remember um, never got a response um, and then funnily enough when I was in a workplace where everybody was in Unite it was a bit um, I can't think of a better word like moribund <laughs> and, the, and the rep was really a misogynist like right. and it was yeah it was a bit dispiriting yeah, um, that's enough to put you off, really, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> like, no response, and then yeah. you deal with somebody who's sexist. Yeah. So, has anyone else kind of run up against anything like that? Or? Um, so, I work for a small charity, and I think it's very much kind of 
not the thing to organise because A, it's seen as like, well, all our money's got to go towards our service. Mm. But I mean, the only things that we spend money on is the salary of the employees. So <laughs> I am the service. Um, <laughs> but also, like, it's just not really in the culture. Like, everyone's mm. friends. We're a really small team. We're friends with the managers, sort of. And like it's just quite awkward like there's nowhere you can go to have a little private meeting yeah (laughs) everything's out in the open and it just it creates kind of tensions in the team which I'm sort of fine with but obviously like lots of people aren't fine with that yeah yeah there's like an element of you know the workplace can seem like quite pleasant in you know on this surface Mm. level and that you know it's been talked about a bit today that somehow like you're going to be disruptive like you're disrupting it and and it's easier I think it's easy to get caught in that thing of like not wanting to make a short-term like uncomfortable situation even if long-term it can get you you know better pay better conditions and that's totally understandable because we spend so much of our lives at work you kind of you kind of want it to be like pleasant um on a day-to-day basis that's a great slogan I am the service I am the service yeah I'm underfunded yeah yeah i mean if you get a campaign going that's <laughs> like that's what you need that's what needs to go on the banner um thanks for having a chat with me i'm a bit nervous about doing these role plays now i hate role plays so much but that's for no god you're monsters <laughs> um but yes for being yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we've warmed up in here. <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah.